Hey, this is Bond Diesel, and today I'm going to chat about some weird occurrences recently with the next Mass Effect game and what I think it may mean. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and click on the bell and check out my other videos, as well as the EchoCast podcast and my live streams over at twitch.tv slash Bond Diesel. For the too long didn't watch, the 2020 Mass Effect teaser trailer has been scrubbed from most of the official locations and it may mean incoming news or potentially bad things for the future of the game and franchise. To get deeper into it, in 2020 the Video Game Awards um, gave us a teaser trailer that basically, uh, well it did confirm uh, a new Mass Effect game was being worked on uh, and it seemed to imply a lot of other things. Uh, this was the first game since Andromeda, which to say the least had its issues. If you want a breakdown of everything from that trailer, I am putting a video up at the top and a link that you can check out. It will be in the description as well. Since then, it was mostly quiet in the year uh, after that, besides some fairly high-profile Bioware hirings from the OG trilogy um, with Bioware devs and staff that were seemingly returning to work on the new project, and a few of them even confirmed that that's what they were coming back for. Then, during N7 Day in 2021, there was a last-minute reveal of a piece of key art that was obviously meant to get a lot of discussions going about speculation for the next game. This was very successful, and I feel people have been at an all-time high in hype uh, for what is happening, even though, to be reasonable, uh, rumors are that... Uh, development of this game won't start all out until 2023 after Dragon Age 4 is released. Since in since 7 Day, the only uh, main conversation uh, has been about a possible Mass Effect uh, show on Amazon. Uh, Mike Gamble uh, stating that if Mass Effect's 2020 trailer won the best moment of the 2020 uh, video game awards, he'd reveal more secrets. Unfortunately, when he made that tweet, the voting was already closed for that and it did not win. Uh, so, you know, we haven't gotten that information yet and we probably won't. Uh, and most recently, the trailer from 2020 has actually been removed from all official Bioware locations uh, the night before 2021 Video Game Awards. Some, including me, uh, thought that this may mean there would be another Mass Effect will return trailer or teaser, but that did not come to fruition. Now there is rampant speculation about what the trailer removal may mean. Some think that it may mean that there's been a major change in the story that uh, makes the trailer defunct in some way. Others are speculating that after the trouble Dragon Age 4 has been going through, they may have scrapped or delayed the Mass Effect project entirely. There's also speculation that due to real world assets in the trailer, there may be a copyright dispute. Uh, and last, some are holding out hope that maybe it means we're going to get another teaser or info drop soon. What do I think? Well, it's complicated. The last year has been really good for Mass Effect, especially since you know Andromeda released in 2017. Uh, the legendary edition of the trilogy has smoothed over a lot of old wounds and bad looks on the franchise, uh, and not to mention it appears that it has been very successful uh, from a financial standpoint, which when you're dealing with an EA studio, that's extremely important. My best guess from being pretty ingrained in how AAA games are developed uh, is that the situation is a combination of multiple factors. Um, it's possible that there's a big change in the story that that trailer simply represents, uh, misrepresents now. Um, they're in pre-production for all we know. There's at least probably a small team of these people who have returned to Bioware working on the main story and talking about the gameplay and things like that. And that's when things change. Games can go from being completely one type of game to another in that process. Um, there is also a chance that there, this is part of a marketing push and maybe they're removing that for reasons to do with marketing. I know that game is probably four or five years out 
but they're um, you know the, these marketing plans for these games are long term. The, the trailer release in 2020, the key art in 2021, these are very calculated moves. They don't come up with them the day before. I really, really don't think the game has been canceled. Um, I don't think there's copyright issues. I think those two um, points that people are making are just coming from a lot of anxiety in this community and people being worried and being pessimistic about it, which I understand I'm, I'm extremely new to Mass Effect. And so it's all puppy dogs and flowers for me because I'm new to it. I haven't gone through 10 plus years of waiting and then Andromeda coming out and being what it was. Uh, so uh, I think my optimism is probably because of my uh, longevity in the community so far. Uh, I am confident in the next Mass Effect and that it will be fine. Um, I've come to this conclusion just with games in general and maybe just with life in general that it's better to have a positive outlook on things uh, it's better for your 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 personal health your mental well-being um, until there's a specific reason not to so if we if we find out mike gamble has left bioware or a bunch of the devs have quit or that they have canceled mass effect um, then i'll worry then um, we know that there's issues with dragon age that they just lost their creative director and that that game sounds like it's been in some trouble um and that we uh, should be under the impression that most of the devs who are going to work on mass effect are probably currently working on that game and so until that game is finished and out and supported we probably won't get a lot of uh work on the next mass effect but that's all speculation um, i think it's an interesting topic if you have any of your own thoughts please let me know down in the comments um, and, and that's kind of what I have to say about this subject. Uh, thank you for sticking around for the whole video and please feel free to let me know what you think about it. And if you have any thoughts or questions in the comments below, um, or if you would just comment for the algorithm, I would very much appreciate it. If you want to support my content, please check out Patreon, uh, for, uh, my early access to my podcast and other things at patreon.com slash bondiesel. Um, please check out my gaming podcast, The Echo Cast, on all podcast platforms, including iTunes, Anchor, Spotify, and right here on YouTube. I am doing a Logitech PC bundle giveaway. Uh, is a headset, keyboard, and mouse. Um, if you go to the description below in the comments or check out my Twitter, you should be able to enter that. I am at Bondiesel on Twitter, where you can catch my rantings. And uh, that's all I have. So until next time.